how was it that you would would bring the topic up with others in in ways that helped you? Mm. It's such a difficult, difficult topic. Mm -hmm. When I have encountered friends, and I'll tell you this, my that first edition copy of Empty Arms did not stay with me long. I had it for about a year until a friend of mine, a dear friend of mine, went through a series of miscarriages. And I gave her my copy of Empty Arms, which was passed down, of course, from my aunt, which had been given to her by a friend. Mm -hmm. And we have since marked our names on the inside cover of that book. And so when I handed this copy of Empty Arms to my friend and I thought long and hard about what was it that she needed to hear from me as I gave her this book. And the first thing I said was, I love you. Mm -hmm. that, that's the first thing that you need to hear when you're going through this, to know that when you feel like it's so your fault, you need to feel loved. You need to feel enveloped. You need to be supported. And so it's not as much that she needed to hear, I'm sorry. She knew that I was sorry. She knew that I felt what she felt. But she, more importantly, needed to hear, I love you. She did not need to hear, you'll get pregnant again. She did not need to hear, oh, it'll happen in the right timing. Those were not the things that I needed to hear at that time. And those were not the things that she needed to hear. Now, there are some women who do. This, this is all subject to, to personality and, and to situation. And I'm very, very sensitive to that. But I do know that from my conversations with my friends who have experienced this, the, the linchpin in starting the process of healing is feeling love. Because at that moment, at the moment that you know that you have lost this child, that motherly instinct, that love that already enveloped you for this child is suddenly overwhelming and stifling and, and you feel like it's it's almost choking you. It's, it's so great. The grief is so great because you've lost this great love. So to feel love from others helps to not feel stifled, to not feel alone. I think that's so key because when we are suffering grief, just that alone makes us want to withdraw and retreat. It's kind of like if you touch your finger to the stove and you burn it on the fire, what do you naturally do? You pull back, you retreat. And you. there's just not a lot of strength to reach out. I love the way, Katie, you reached across the gap and you shared that love. And love is healing. It is powerful healing. Just knowing someone is there with you.